So this is the glass pouring ladle and there's basically two ways to pour. Gathering the glass this way, which leaves a, a drip down this side and pouring into the mold, or gathering the glass this way and pouring out of the clean side of the mold. One of these methods makes the ladle very difficult to clean afterwards, as you'll see, and the other method puts the V-groove shaped stringer down the side of the mold as the glass is being poured. So first I'll show the method that is the least desirable. So I've gathered the glass and I'm going to pour it out of the clean side into the mold. And when I have enough glass, then I'll finish the pour. And as you can see, I've got glass stuck to the back of the ladle and the front of the ladle, and it's very difficult to get that glass off the ladle. and the plunger needs to be cooled after every pressing. Now I'll demonstrate the pouring method that produces that V-groove straw line on the insulator. So I'll be gathering this way and there'll be a stream stuck to this side of the ladle and I'll pour that into the mold. See that stringer go in there? That produces that V-groove. Oh, and that's the Brookfield style where a big chunk of junk falls in at the same time. There. Now, as you can see, there's no glass stuck here, so it's easy to pop out. And there's a couple stringers here. I have to break those off before I can close the mold. There's the V-groove stringer right there. There, you can see that stringer right there from where that extra piece of glass fell into the mold while I was pouring. So that's the style of pouring that's seen on a lot of old Hemingway glass, uh, old diamond ponies. Uh, there's lots and lots of different old insulators that have that pouring technique. And after every couple of pours, the mold needs to be cooled. And here's a look at one of these turquoise ones here. You can see the straw line starts at the bottom by the base 
and as it comes up the skirt it diverges a little bit into a v-shape because it's actually the thickness of that little thread gets wider as it goes up. 